Yep, cinematics, arrow keys, spacebar, Korra. <laughs> but it's still really enjoyable for, for what it is. Like, I'm actually impressed at how much I enjoy it. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Korra, and another Dayton Dissects. We'll go ahead and hop right into it. This is more of a story than a game. And you'll see what I mean by that. It's a lot of hitting arrow keys and spacebar. And what could be easier to dissect? <laughs> well, again, it's great to finally have you settling into town. My guy should be finished up with some of the final touches by this evening. If you want, there's a festival going on in town today. You could check it out while, you, while the house is being finished. I bet that by the time the whole thing is over, the house will be all ready for you should also give you a chance to meet the new neighbors. Nice people, all of them. In fact, while the boys finish up, I think I'll go into town myself. Give me a call tomorrow morning if you see anything we missed or have any problems at all. Talk to you soon. So you're a little pixel guy. The graphics look just like this. It's not like Evo Land where you kinda uh, level up the graphics. <laughs> oh, here's a bench. We'll press down to have a sit on the bench. It's very casual. And we hit spacebar to talk to people. Almost finished! Nearly there! You won't be disappointed! Suppose we'll have a wander this way. Yep, still wandering. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood! I'm the only one around here who knows how to fix that stupid truck. But I'm learning! That's right, I'm teaching Junior here how to do his first oil change. Soon we'll have two mechanics in this old town. Actually, I want to be a figure skater when I grow up. <laughs> we don't say that around strangers, son. So, it is a charming sort of humor that's in the game. That's a nice house you got up there on the hill. Shame you built it on a hot spot for falling boulders. Young man and his family had a house there before you. Squashed flat along with his 14 children by a rock the size of a shopping mall. <laughs> Just a fair warning, that's all. Hey, newcomer! I've been watching the house come together and it looks great. You may wonder why I'm up here all alone instead of celebrating joyfully at the festival. It's sadly due to a condition that I have developed after years of mountain climbing. As opposed to the more common fear of heights, I am actually a victim of a crippling fear of over that overwhelms me when I am planted firmly on even ground. The fear has kept me from leaving the second floor of my house for 16 years. The saddest part is that I would love to keep climbing mountains, but in order to do that, I would first have to walk downstairs where my climbing gear is. Since my flight is seemingly hopeless, you might as well have the only piece of equipment I keep upstairs. Well, thanks, guy. I'm gonna go see this Buddha statue. I saw one in Japan. It wasn't as good as that one, though. Oh, I can't even go over there. Fart! I guess we'll continue to go left. This is like the opposite of every platformer ever. Until my house is fixed, probably. Then I go right forever. <laughs> oh, we're inside each other. Nice to meet you, friend. <laughs> and you, Tinkle. Tinkle. My well, a job around here is taking care of all the plants and gardens in town. I suppose I just have a green thumb. Always have. Truth is, I actually hate plants. I despise them. Their appearance simply angers me. <laughs> this gift that I have has been an absolute curse my entire life. Every night I have nightmares that I'm tending to someone's flowers or I'm trimming a shrub. But then, I realize I'm not dreaming and that I'm actually doing those things in real life. Mm. Please, help me! Ah, <laughs> uh, help me first. Help me help you. Help me help you. I love watching the birdies. They make me happy. About a year ago, I got one and made him my pet. I named him Buckle and would go out every morning f to get fresh worms for him. He was the nicest buddy I ever saw. One day, he bit my finger, so I fed him to my dog. <laughs> I love the humor. Great to meet you, neighbor. Our family is the poorest in town by a long shot. So if you ever see my kids writhing around in the dirt by your house, don't mind them. We've convinced them that normal kids play that way, so they won't want toys. 
when they see that other children have fancy action figures and video games, we just tell them those things are poisonous. <laughs> we say that in a few years, all those kids will be dead, or will have gross deformities. <laughs> I guess eventually we have to think of an excuse as to why those kids are all perfectly fine. Are you looking to adopt any children, by the way? No. Do you like a house? I see you built quite a nice one yourself over there. Is yours completely green certified though? Because ours is. And did you get your windows specialized to absorb solar energy and convert it into cooking oil for your kitchen? We did. And did you get that new thing that just came out on the market? It takes rainwater from the soil and turns into life force energy that emits from the air vents in your living room. You can't breathe in too much of it at once, and I've started getting 24-hour migraines since we first installed it. But I'm sure you couldn't afford one anyway, so... Yeah, dick, sir. Hmm. Looks like there's an indentation in the palms of that statue's hands. It seems to be shaped like a diamond or jewel of some kind. Welcome, newcomer. I sense something in you. Something hidden from even your own eyes. It is something that very few possess, and among them even fewer discover. A link between the world you know and a far distant realm exists within you. If you hadn't come here today, it might have lain dormant for the rest of your existence. Well, gee, that's, that's quite a chancy thing. Behold the power of the gods, gifted to man in those distant years of the past. Still pulsing through the veins of the human spirit. Embrace this link between our two realms and you will find us beyond the forgotten land. We will be waiting for you. Yep, cinematics, arrow keys, spacebar, Korra. But it's still really enjoyable for, for what it is. Like, I'm actually impressed at how much I enjoy it. Probably if I was, uh, ten years younger, I would absolutely hate it. Well, friends, this has been Cora and another Dayton Dissects. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've left a link in the description if it seems like something that you would enjoy. Comment of the week goes to Grab a Pint Gaming for leaving some love on my bully uh, music video. That's also in the description if you want to check that out. So this has been Brandon Dayton, Cora, and another Dayton Dissects. I hope you guys will join us for the next time. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.